Let's get started. The first thing you need is your paintbrush, your acrylic paint, a ribbon of your choice, some wooden balls, and you need a big wooden ball for his head, a wooden spool for his body, I am using some foam, which will make his hat, and a red and black marker, a pair of scissors, and some stickers. And your hot glue gun. And remember children, let your parents help you with your glue gun. So, here we go. The first thing I'm going to do is paint my spool. Just putting some paint down on a piece of paper so I can paint it. Now just to brush the paint on it. Be sure to cover it. You don't need to do the bottom part because nobody's going to see him. He's going to be sitting down. You can make it a girl or a boy. Sitting elf. You can put this sitting elf on a shelf or you can sit it in your Christmas tree somewhere or for a table table setting just whatever you prefer acrylic paint only takes like one coat and once I get it on there then I'm going to try to fan it to dry the paint a little quicker sometimes it's best to do this ahead of time so you can move on to the next project or to the next step. Here I'm just continuing on getting it painted. You have to make sure you do the top. I'm just looking to see if I miss any spots. Now it's time to paint the top. This is where his head is going to be sitting when you get it all fixed. And voila, there we go. And to clear things away to do the next step. Yep, here we go. Gotta dry it off somehow. You can use a hair dryer if you prefer, or paint it today or the night before. to get the ribbon that I'm going to use, which is a Christmas ribbon. And it doesn't matter, you're just gonna cut four strips of your ribbon. You want to make it for it will be the length of your arms and for the length of your legs for your sitting elf.
Now I'm just going to fold it in half. <coughs> Just to make sure I do have the lengths long enough and you can always snip it on the end after you put your wooden bead on it. folded it in half but I decided that if I cut it in two it might not be long enough so just to make things a little safer I just decided to cut two more strips off the spool of ribbon So here we go again. I realized that I only had three strips and I had to have two more. So remember, four strips of ribbon. Unless you make it long enough to where you can fold it in half to put it on your sitting elf's body. Which this is good here. Now just testing to see if it's dry yet. The paint. Now while the spool is drying, I'm going to take my wooden beads and you're going to string them with the ribbon. And these little beads will be making the hands and the feet of your elf. I do have a little bit of trouble getting the ribbon through the beads. But, it works. I tried to give it a little bit of help. You can also use yarn and put it through a needle, a big needle, and just string your bead through it. Sometimes the openings on these beads are a little bit bigger. Where that you can just string them on through. Sometimes I have to help it a little bit. But if y'all have trouble doing it, ask your mommy and daddy or your big brother or sister to help you. <laughs> I sometimes have difficulty doing some of these. But in the end, it's going to look amazing. It would also make a great gift for your grandma or your aunt. And see, I'm having trouble getting it through. So, <laughs> now the hole on this bead, I think was a little bit smaller than the other, so it made it a little bit more difficult to get it in there. 
usually if you cut it at an angle, it helps it go in better. But I think with this one, I was still fighting it. So, while we're sitting here watching this, what are your favorite Christmas songs that you little kiddos like out there? I think I like Jingle Bells and The Tortoise of Christmas. Hmm. And Santa Claus is coming to town. I'm sure y'all have a favorite. I'm just kind of trying to help push this through. And it's just still giving me a little difficulty. It's barely, barely poking out. (laughs) I'm going to get it in there. Gosh darn. Just having some problems. It should be easier than this. I always have one. It's the last one that I cannot get the bead through. Hmm. I need to get some more beads. Maybe this time I might get it. Nope. I eventually get it in there. (laughs) Oh, the struggles. Let's try the other end. Let's see if that works. But if you feel you don't want to watch me struggle getting this wooden bead on this ribbon, you can fast forward it to the next step. get it this time I'm trying to use one of those big pins I'm going to something a little bit thicker on the point maybe that will work let's hope All right, here we go. Let's try this one. Let's see if we get it going in there. (laughs) Look, yay! That worked much better. Why did I not try that just a little bit ago? We could have been a little bit further in this video. But hang in there. We'll get it. Let's see if this one goes in easier. (laughs) Hmm. can we do it yeah well let's see yay and we did it now we got them all four on there all right now here we go It's pretty much almost dry, so we can go ahead and do the next step, which is to uh-huh, wait for it. Now I'm just trying to figure. I do have two different sizes of the wooden, the little wooden balls or beads, which the smaller ones will be for the hands, and the little bigger ones is for the feet. 
Now you just take the ribbon and put it up in the little hole there that's on your spool. And I'm gonna take some hot glue and put it on there to hold it in. The reason that you need the um, ribbon a little longer for the feet is so that you can bring it up through the spool and glue it to the top. Right there, just at the opening of the hole on the spool. And don't worry about it because when you put the head on it, it will hide the ribbon. So I'm just making sure these are even. And then I will get the glue gun and glue the ribbon edges down on top of the spool. I'm just snipping off the ribbon just to make sure it's not going to overhang on the side of the spool because we don't want that. <laughs> now just getting my hot glue again and I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there and hold the edges down on top. And then the legs will be done. All right. Now, to do the arms. You just want to make sure that the tip of that ribbon underneath the wooden um, bead is just touching the table because you don't want to make the arms as long as the legs. No. You can take the bottom of these and tie them in a knot to keep the bead from slipping off. But I decided I'm just going to go ahead and glue the arms on and put a little glue underneath the wooden bead. And that way I don't have to try to fool with doing a knot. Remember, you want to make sure your ribbon is overhanging on the other side once you glue it on. You want to try to make it just a little bit neat as possible. So here I'm just going to glue it down. And then I will snip off the little edge pieces of ribbon that are hanging over.
Okay, I'm going to set that part aside, and now we're going to work on the head. I'm going to take the piece of thin foam that I have. You can also use green construction paper. And I'm going to do like a half of a circle. And when you do this, then you're going to take it from the corner and roll it, and it will make your cone shape. But you do need to snip off the top after you make your cone to make it straight so that you can set it on top of the head of the for your elf. I'm just kind of straightening it up a little bit more. I do cut crooked. <laughs> now I'm going to roll it to try to make a cone. roll it so that I can make the point which will make the top of the hat which would be the bottom of the cone make it just a little bit more closed in now you want to keep measuring it so you would have the right size because you don't want to make it too small so I just keep on until I actually get a good fit that it will sit on top of my ball that will make his head Oh, the struggles that I have sometimes. <laughs> okay. And, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And that's going to be a good fit. Now I'm just going to kind of make it a little bit more pointed on the end of it. And I'm going to take my hot glue again and put a little bit of glue in it just to hold the shape. It's perfect for me. And now it's to get the glue. You can also use a strong adhesive for the kids to use instead of having to use the hot glue gun for concerns that they could get burned. I just find it to, to be faster for this video. Now I'm going to cut off some of the excess that's on it. Now I'm just going to cut off the edge. And then if you have it the other direction and cut it off, it will make it perfectly round for it to sit on top of the head of your elf. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm just going to put some on the inside of the hat and just lay it on top of the wooden, the big wooden bead or ball.
okay you can leave it just like this and put a little pom-pom on top of it or a piece of cotton on top of it and I'm going to kind of scrunch my down to make it look more like he's wearing his hat and then I'm going to fold it over kind of play with it and then I'm going to kind of tuck it in and then glue it down And when you make your when you make your cone and it's up straight, just twist it a little bit, kind of glue it, and then fold it down, and that will make it kind of droop over to the side. Just take my hot glue gun, just put a little bit of glue in there, and then hold it down. And that will keep it in the position that you need it. Just letting the glue sit up on that foam. It just seems to take a little bit longer to sit up when you're using foam. Okay. I'm trying to get off a little bit of that glue and the little glue strings from the glue stick and that's all good now now to find out where you want to put your face put it on the body that you just made and then take your marker your black and your red you want to use the red for the nose and for the mouth and the eyes are going to use the black marker or just however you want your elf to look. You make it have blue eyes and a red smile. Just making a circle and filling it in. Okay, now to do the nose, just make a little dot, and I made a little smiley mouth. <laughs> okay, all good there.
just trying to clean up my little space for a second. Now it's time to put your head on top of the body. And we're almost done. Just put a good little amount of glue on it. And then put it right on top of your ribbon that you crossed over for his arms and his legs. And let the glue set up for just a second. And there you go. Getting some glue string off of it. The next night I got to fix the arms and the legs. But first, you remember the stickers? I'm gonna take the two smaller snowflakes and I'm going to put them together and do it halfway when I stick them together so I can put the glue on it and put it on the hat. We're almost done, y'all. We're getting there. Now to take these out. And get my two small snowflakes. Or you can use a pom-pom. Whichever. And here's where I'll line them up so I can stick them together. And keeping half of it unstuck so I can put some hot glue on it. And then I will put it on the hat and then squeeze them together. I've got some glue on me. <laughs> okay. The hat is all done. So trying to make sure that I don't have any glue strings on it. Now I'm gonna put some a bigger snowflake. I think I'll use the smaller one. Yeah, I'll use one of the smaller ones to put on the body just to give it some more decoration to make it look more Christmassy. <laughs> there we go. And then last but not least, I gotta put some glue underneath the small wooden beads to keep them on the ribbon. So I'm just kind of tucking it right there at the very end of the opening of the bead.
and if you don't have a wooden spool you can also use a one of the miniature clay pots or you can use a medicine cup and just paint it green or red whichever you choose And now I'm just going to take my scissors and snip off some of the ribbon that's on the arms underneath the wooden bead. there I decided not to cut the ribbon underneath it on the legs I like it just like that <laughs> but you can do it if you want and there you go your sitting elf for your shelf is all finished And I hope you had fun making it. Isn't it just cute? <laughs>